In this video, I will go over three tips to help make sure your sequence importing is more successful. This video is intended to work in conjunction with the previous importing video uploaded in the past. If you haven't seen that video, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. First off, when you download a sequence from the Magical Light Show's website, you can see the entire sequence in its original form. By, you can do that by going to your exercise program and click on Change Permanently. You can find the sequence. In this case, this is the Bad Romance sequence. Find that folder you just downloaded and open it. And then when you click on Layout, you can see the original. Um, you can see the original sequence by going to Open Sequence. Click on the X, X, XSQ file. And then you can actually see the sequence in its original form. This is helpful that way in case you're having any issues, you can see how it was done in the original. And then you can see what you can do to modify yours to make it work. This step is also critical in one of the other steps because you have to make sure that your order is the same or very close to mine. Um, if not, X lights will render it in a different order because X lights will render is from top to bottom. So if your horizontal lines are above all, and then you have the all group has an effect, but then the, the horizontal lines has a different effect, it's going to look very different on your sequence. So you can see it over here. If you look on master view, you can also go to display elements and see the actual order. By the way, sometimes in sequences, we have a group called all with no faces or all with faces put on bottom for fades. I literally want you to put that on the bottom um, because that changes um, how the effects are done. And I sometimes purposely use this group on bottom to override everything else. Um, so anyhow, just make sure your groups are the same or very, very, very similar. Um, I usually have the largest groups on top, um, like all, all no matrix, all house, all the house stuff, then I have, let's say, the lawn props, the groups, and then the smaller groups of the lawn, etc. So that's the first step that's really, um, really critical to importing. Another critical step um, is now that X Lights has shaders, which is a very powerful tool, you need to make sure you copy all that content to your show folder. So, for example, um, this is the Bad Romance Sequence folder, and this is my Halloween 2021 show folder. When you get a new sequence, you want to copy all the pictures, shaders, um, and movies into your show folder up to one folder deep. So in other words, you can't have, you know, magical light show sequences, and then shaders, and then, you know, blue shaders. Um, x lights will only look for one folder deep within your show folder to find it. So let's say, for example, you know, you can take your audio. You don't need my house pick if you don't want it. The shaders, um, you want to take these shaders, copy them, paste them into your shaders folder. Um, and if there's any other videos and pictures, make sure they're actually in your show folder as well. If you do this step after you import, um, X Lights will lose all the data in that sequence related to those effects. So in other words, before you go to the import effects um, window that you'll see in the other video, make sure you copy the shaders the pictures and the movies into your show folder and that way when X Lights looks, it'll look in your show folder, find it right away, and it'll just save a lot of drama. Um, by the way, do not copy the RGB effects file, the networks file, key bindings files. These are critical um, files to your show folder. So if you take this, let's say the RGB effects you put in your replace your um, XML file, your your layout will now be my layout. So don't do that. Um, leave all these files, the ones that end with XML. Um, but you can go ahead and copy, again, the shaders, the music, um, the pictures, the movies, the XS, the XX, I can't even say it, XSQ file into your show folder if you like as well. Um, the final thing is, what we kind of mentioned in the first step, is you have to double check your rendering order. So when you look at my sequence, you can see how I did things in order. Um, what I recommend, too, is when you get a new sequence, just go ahead and open up to display elements. Make sure you're on master view and uh, do like a screenshot, right? And that way you can see the, the order of the uh, groups. Always have your groups first and then your individual props later. Um, and then that way, when you go to import effects, you know, and after you import effects using the other video, you can make sure that your layout is the same. If it's not the same, just go to display elements. If there's a problem, let's say, for example, if this was not, you know, if this was up on top and it was over here, um, 
you can just click that and drag it or you can just use the arrow keys as well to make sure you move it to all um, with no faces put on the bottom last group and that way you'll have less problems make sure these other groups same thing right the all needs to be on top and then the all no matrix etc depending on your layout so anyhow i hope this helps just as a recap you can see the video um, you can see the original by clicking on you know controllers change permanently go to the sequence folder you download it from the site and see the original um, sequence that way if you have any questions you can reference that number two make sure you copy all the shaders pictures movies um, from the sequence you downloaded into your show folder before importing to save a lot of problems um, then also double check your render order um, when you have your sequence to make sure it matches the same as the one you downloaded and that way everything will render properly anyhow i hope this helps